Good Morning Britain viewers were left feeling emotional during Thursday's show after an RAF soldier broke down in tears as he recalled the heartbreaking scenes in Afghanistan. On Thursday's Good Morning Britain, ITV hosts Martin Lewis and Susanna Reid spoke with Wing Commander Calvin Bailey and Sergeant Andy Livingston about the parts they played in the Afghanistan rescue. Both soldiers, who spoke from Bryce Norton via video link, said it was the most horrendous thing they have ever had to go through as they attempted to help people leave the country. However, during the interview Commander Bailey appeared to get choked up as he recalled the horrific scenes. Speaking about that moment, Wing Commander Bailey began, the pressure of knowing people were in harm's way on the ground, was something that sat heavily on their shoulders. And also, on mine as the commander, knowing I was sending people into a situation that was difficult for people remote to the operation and conceive. In terms of taking off from the airfield, we heard some of the stories over the weekend, who had some near misses with well-meaning individuals that was operating on the airfield surface at Kabul. That just weren't able to see or understand the normal airfield operating environment. So, all of those things on the emotions of the crews, he continued. But there was also a much more powerful emotion that was kind of overriding. Wing Commander Bailey's voice began to crack, and he got emotional as he tried to explain how it has affected so many people. It was one of humanity, he said through tears. And of people. Turning to his colleague, the soldier joked, I said it would be me, who got emotional. It was people having to look after people, he added. And as Andy described, we received people on the back of the airframe in waves. The first wave of people, as Andy said, didn't have any shoes because they had standing in the sewers waiting for days. Those people were in reasonably good order apart from their physical being. But as the days progressed, their emotional and physical state deteriorated and that is not something that's normal for anyone to deal with. We have great admiration for the movement's personnel and the army, he concluded. The folks on the ground dealing consistently. We were having to face this as blunt, traumatic blows as people were reflective of our own families, who looked like us. That had children like us, had to board our aircraft and we are incredibly proud of the acts of kindness and good human values that the crews were able to show people in a short amount of time. Following the segment, viewers took to social media to praise both soldiers for their acts of selflessness. One penned, if these two don't receive medals, I'm not sure who should. They represent those who really make their lives count. They live to serve others a selfless and courageous way to live. Many voice their opinions of wanting the world to be better, but some just act to make it better. Another praised, a hero helping those who can't help themselves. 
a shining light and act of selflessness in this horrible, truthless, morally bankrupt country. Heartbreaking to hear your reflections. Your bravery, courage, determination and strength should be rewarded. True heroes, thank you for everything you have done, a third tweeted.